And you see kind of an entrance right here, or some sort of ladder. Yeah. Okay, so stop right there. Uh, so. I'm going to say that you had gotten information that. I gotta reword this because if you guys don't know, I know some of the stuff in here. So it looks like the entrance to this place stands in what is once a large paved plaza. The remains of the fountain are now little more than a stone circle set uh, set around a crumbling hole in the ground, leading to a well deep deep below. Two stone statues stand in that courtyard, rising twenty foot high. Behind them, a forty foot High edifice is carved into the cliffside, dominated by by relief columns carved with strange, otherworldly scenes. Uh, as you approach the statues, you hear the sudden sound of grinding stone. The colossal figures turn their massive heads, their shattered fi fi features staring down at you. Two voices issue forth in unison, booming out as though erupting from the deep earth. Halt! You come before Diderus, either Ether Walker and and conduit of clairvoyance. Behold ye now this wonderful wondrous triumphs. Diderus extends wisdom and Diderus offers knowledge. Which do you seek? Knowledge Knowledge Is that how you say it? Yes. Knowledge. Like. Uh, did Can show I interest right you, what you what in you two Lamborghinis with knowledge? <laughs> Diderus shall grant you what you seek, but only if you heed him and continue to show proper respect. Uh, the, the stone statues grind back into the original position. What do you do? Uh, I will oh. advance. The those statues, right? Yep. Those are the statues that talk to you. Oh. You did see like a little camp down here, but it's starting to get kind of like evening. Uh, Wind, can I give you uh, Zitroloff? Yeah, sure. Because um, he, when I move them together, it makes the dynamic lighting spaz out. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll move then. I don't think that should be a problem. It's happening with me, too. Just because it's trying to keep two perspectives going at once. Yeah, and it doesn't work. How does that look? I can no longer control Zindralov. It looks like a door. So, mm -hmm. 
friend. And it looks like the stone door there is ajar. There's marks on the door and, and frame that indicate that it was probably forced open. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Just um, need to... Can I make a investigation check? Sure. See, see if there's any sort of sign of... I crit failed and got an 11. <laughs> Yay. Intelligence characters! Yay! Uh, you can tell there's some sort of illusion uh, that looks like uh, that it looks like a tomb with gilded carvings and silver censers, but uh, the, it looks like that they've actually been defaced and ruined. And the censers are, are no, actually no longer there. It's just an illusion. Interesting. Uh, I guess I'm just going to open the door. Is it locked? Um, also, um, just so it had a, a overnight, I would have changed my, um, or it's a poison. Wait, what's going on? Sorry. Uh, are you able to get through that door? Like, what do you mean? Yeah. Like, move your token? Yeah. Yeah, because you can go yeah. inside. Okay, I was just yeah. kind of wondering, you hadn't, hadn't gone, gone inside or anything, so... Oh, I... Sorry. Yeah, no. I got, like, distracted. But I was mind. waiting to know if the door, like, opened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was already a jar. Oh. So, um, as you... Enter the room, you, um, okay, there are six statues stand here, all of cowled wizards leaning on staffs. Their uh, faces are obscured by deep hoods. Uh, the hollow hoods form, forms are particularly dark. And... You hear coming from the statues, Some secrets are not meant for mortal minds to know. Look away from the darkness in which such knowledge hides. And as That's you're... Rude. Okay, I need to actually do something here. Uh, I need... I, I'm assuming Gizli and, and uh, Kriv are... Uh, Moving along side by side, or yeah, whenever we can side by side, otherwise, Kriv's gonna be up front and then Kizzy behind. I need both uh, Kriv and Gizzly to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Thirteen. No. Wait, what did I... So what's Gizli's bonus? Uh, it's it's two more than mine, so it'd be a fourteen. Okay, and Gizli. Okay, you guys are fine. Um, you feel this like suggestion to like look towards the um 
towards the uh, statues. You also hear the sound of grinding stone as uh, these statues are turning their cowled heads to, to follow your movements. Okay. So you have you, you're the you, you have this compulsion to, to look at them, uh, but you're able to shrug the suggestion off. I'll just say, hey, don't look at the statues. Oh, everybody keeps their eyes rooted. Yeah, sure. Right. Yeah. This door. Let's go in. Well, well hold on. Sorry. Yeah, this door is also a jar. So I was slowly open it up to make sure there's no traps or anything. And yeah, then it opens fine. So this chamber is a high vaulted dome with an, a deep inset ledge circling the room. 10 feet wide and 15 feet up. The floor here is set with a uh, with a beautiful tile mosaic showing a knight in plate armor wielding a glowing sword against the chimera. The word safe is written in chalk on the door uh, leading this way. What about uh, you the... You do see that the... You, you do kind of notice the shifting of the uh, tile chimera. The, the what? The tile chimera? Uh, yeah, tile chimera. Oh, tile mirror. I, I heard tile chimera was like... Yeah, what? that's what I said. Tile chimera. Oh. Which is part of the mosaic that's on the floor. Oh, okay, yeah. Go ahead and cast um, Detect Magic to see if you notice anything besides us. Uh, you notice that the tile chimera is starting to move up from the floor. Like we about to have a fight? Like, we about to have a fight. Yeah. It's fight time. Oh, no. Big spook. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I should have had you roll a uh, perception check, but never mind. That's fine. It's all right. Everything's gonna be all right. Hey, you're rolling that with advantage. Yay! Cyrus gets a good initiative for once! <laughs> you That's always have good initiatives. What are you talking about? It's crap. This is a shitty one. Hence why you had to take the alert to get that plus five. What is the lie, though? Oh, you all heard that thing? Eh? Yep. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna put it on the. It's all right. Yep. There we are. There you have everybody. One, two, three, four. Yep. Hey. Oh, uh, we're missing someone, though. No, 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 I don't think so. Yeah. In a second. Oh. Unless you have something to say. No, that's fine. Okay. 
You just never said you brought him along. Oh, he's, he's been invisible this entire time. Yeah. <laughs> he's practicing. If he can get unnoticed by the whole party, he's doing great. By the way, it sounds like your uh, your mic is coming from your computer, Frederica. Uh, yeah, no, sorry, I I, I raised my microphone uh, on the top of my head instead of uh, on the side or what is normally. There we go. That explains it. We're all for Chaton. Give a second. Sorry. Did you see that a new G Fuel came out? Yeah. I got the email notification. That should be Womp. done. There we go. Womp. All right. He's the slowest, slow boy. <laughs> so it's the. So the kind. Chim- so what looks like a chimera, it comes up, but it's just like tiles. And it comes up and kind of starts. Gr- Starts roaring at you, Cyrus. It's um, sure, you know what? We'll just fucking go for it. All right. I need a wisdom save from it. Bunch of tiles. Uh. <laughs> it fails. It's a frog now. Polymorph. That's a way to it is. <laughs> Casual polymorph. <laughs> Does polymorph work on constructs? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, if it receives damage, well, yeah, that's a, that happens with anything in regards to. I would like to pick the frog up, and I put it under my hat. You now have I'm a pocket chimera. Gonna bite you. <laughs> <laughs> he has a bucket chimera now. This is not okay. Not okay. Just a regular old frog, right? Yeah, yeah. Regular yeah. Old frog. All right. It like jumps out, zero. spooks me, and Cyrus is like, ah, polymorph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Wisdom of two. Oh no, it's a plus two, so. That's not bad for a kind of shirt that's just tile. When you just put it under your hat? Yeah. Okay. That's all of them, though, right? That's all of them, though, right? That's all of them now. Right? Yeah. Awesome. I yeah. know, oh, um, Cubby's playing Shield and he just got, um, um, uh, es- uh, Umbreon. Nice! And he has now have has all the evolutions. Woohoo! Woo! It's been a long time since I've played either my sword or shield. Oh, Same here, I- and he picked it, but he's picked it up and has gotten into it. I've he's played. Doing- I've played it when it came out, and that's it. I'm I didn't player. realize I got the season pass, so I already have uh, Crown Tundra. I, d- I didn't even play them, and I bought them. Well, I think it was like a bundle for me. It was easy- It was better for me to buy the um, yeah, the whole th- the crap season pass than just the game. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, I'm not complaining. Oh, these dice are so cool. Oh, the Everlasting Ream? Yeah. Uh, it, it even has sound effects. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, you feel the, you feel the, jog, the, the, the frog uh, jumping up and down, but you can't push the, push the hat out of the way. Um. Uh, so we'll, we'll just... Uh, yeah, we'll just like leave it like that. Um... Zenderlove. Mm, yes. Um, what is your highest spell level? Uh, 
Let me double check. I haven't checked before. He's supposed to have fifth I, level. I can get up to the uh, fifth level of casting. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if you can cast this spell. I heard in my... Um, in uh, Howard Church is on our country. I don't know if here you... It's like you remember. Um, the great priests, normally they can use to whittle down the small ones... Uh, the divine words of their uh, gods. I guess you don't have access to this. Better character, are you saying you're looking for divine word? Yeah. Pretty okay. sure he doesn't, because it's a six level spell. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a perfect. Divine word with polymorph is magnificent. All right, so for the moment, you're out of combat, and you have an uh, animated tile chimera uh, currently as a frog uh, underneath Cyrus's hat. Yay! Rip it, bitch. Rip it. Uh, <laughs> although he, he is going to occasionally try to break out. Um, <laughs> do Ooh, you want... Actually, uh, I would say this is probably... Uh, in a round, uh, the uh, hat falls off uh, Cyrus's head. Head and the frog leaps out. Okay. Onto the floor. Hurts, but still only gets a 15. <laughs> um, I will pick up the frog. Uh, but we can put it in my bag of holding. Exactly. I'm putting it in the no. bag of holding. It uh, will go ahead and, and, and then roll turn me, into. Roll me a grab attack. <laughs> so, athletic? Yeah, athletics. Wow. He, he dodges out of the way. Get over here. Come to a game. I'm going to chase the post. Froggy. Nope. Uh, nope. You catch him because even if he crits, he doesn't have that much of a dex. All right. In the bag you go. No, because it will suffocate and then die and then well, it, it, turn it, it, into a chimera in his bag. I just want to say, if it suffocates, it is not taking damage, it is simply dying. Well, yeah. This is the wind's call. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's the rule. And technically, no. it's a construct, so technically, it's not breathing. But because it's a bre it's a creature that does require breathing, uh, it would essentially die, which really drops it to zero hit points. Which and because then it reverts drops to it. zero hit points, then reverts it into an animated tile chimera that's stuck in a bag. <laughs> that's even better. Are, are you are you in a is this a regular bag or a, a bag of holding? Bag of holding. Bag of holding. Okay. <laughs> Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? You're gonna do something. I'm hinky. going. I'm gonna do something cool. You hinky boy. I'm gonna add a cage to the <laughs> to the mansion. <laughs> wow! Yes. <laughs> We're gonna have a pocket chimera. God damn it! Well, after a point, one like. <laughs> Get in the bag, Nibby. <laughs> can we can we call her Nibby? Camera. Way. So train it and called it Fluffy. <laughs> no, Nibby, because no, it's it in the bag. My way. I have spoken. It's gonna be Fluffy. But I said I I, I said Nibby first. Yeah, and then I said Fluffy, so we're going with Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's, uh, yeah, all right. I see how Americans do their politics now. <laughs> well, didn't you see the presidential thing? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, I didn't see no elections. <laughs> if that's what you ask. At one point, uh, wind, it's not very important because I can just go up the crib. 
I would need to update uh, Gizli to level 9. Oh, okay. Since I can't do that. But I know all, I have all his stuff on his token, so I know where his HP is at and everything. What would be that quick one? Uh, he rolled a 6 for his HP. At least he's going to come back at some point. Yeah, he's just... With 6, he said? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so it should be to 59 once everything's done. Because he has a plus 2 to the constitution. So to add 8. I have 57. Because it should add a total of. You haven't changed it to level 9 yet. Oh, that's what. Was, that's why. Okay. <laughs> it hasn't added the constitution in there. Yeah. Okay. I see what the problem is. <laughs> you guys get nothing at level nine? No. Most, most people gets nothing at level nine. No. Yeah. We our proficiency bonus what goes up to plus four, but. Okay, so it's the proficiency bonus. Oh. Yeah. That's better than nothing. Yeah. Okay. And he oh. can prepare two more spells. Up to level three. Because I didn't. I did my uh, barbarian. That's why I didn't get that. Uh, his sheet should now be updated if you're refreshing. Yeah. It's showing 59. Oh, okay. Alright, where were we? Uh, or waiting for you to yeah I don't even know what to do with this now <laughs> we can on that one Cyrus you evil creature right, let's let's just say this you would assume <laughs> that when the polymorph breaks the chimera will be stuck in the bag but if anybody reaches into the bag it can bite your hand off <laughs> well that's why um uh Cyrus is saying he's going to put a cage in the uh, it's in the mansion. Yeah. It's oh, that's perfect. It's becoming a um, a, a bag of devouring. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's not going in the loot bag. I can go with a handy haversack or something. That's not the loot bag. No. no, thank you. Because we have scrolls and stuff in there. We have a we. We have some, yeah, and then they push a gaseous form in there if it eats that. Oh no! No, it we is are also, not putting it, it, it in it the is, bag. You do know that it's it's also a tile creature, so if you have a cage in there, it could probably easily get through the the bars. Not if he does something special with it, so he can. It no, but it can be it can be a cage like um, square square holes. Yeah, Just It'd be a specially designed cage for a tile monster, tile construct. So a wall, and it's just in there. Right. Cyrus, create a perfect environment for the for the chimera, like a beautiful mosaic, and just missing the chimera. <laughs> so it feels some place where it has a place to sit. Yeah, <laughs> just so it, it feels welcomed. <laughs> You basically make make a cage which looks exactly like this room that it is right now. <laughs> yes, perfect. Done. So I think that like everything is done. Just also keep in mind it did have a dragon head. <laughs> Meh. Chimeras nowadays. I just stole the tile chimera from a <laughs> ancient tomb. <laughs> okay, well they should have been better about keeping taking care of it. Well, you were supposed to, like, kill it. Well, why would we kill it when we could take it to a new home? Why would we kill Fluffy? 
Fluffy is love. Fluffy um, is his life. name is not Fluffy. His name is Crackles. No, it's Fluffy. I would like to like wave the toad around and be like, no. His name is Crackles. <laughs> um, and he's I lived admit, with us now. <laughs> I like to get very angry and say, no, it's Fluffy. I've, I voted for Crackles. Nebby. I voted for Nebby because in like Shut Pokemon... up, Frederica. You're not part of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you mean me? If Cyrus was meaner, he would he would say something much worse. But hey, you know, he he's trying to be nice. Trying. Try harder. Our group. Fluffy. Hello. What? Okay. For a second, I thought I had the same issue as well before. That all of a sudden, it may just I disconnected. So, I wasn't hearing nothing. <laughs> so I guess. Oh, there's a there's a corridor. Well, it said there there was something saying safe for this door right here. Okay. Well, we could go on the door. Uh, we can go on the door there. I don't mind. The the door I'm talking about is this. Oh, the the these these doors bulge up, uh bulge out noticeably. Like they look like they're filled with something. Yeah, or... like something's pushing on it from the other side. It's not good. Could it's I do an investigation check? See if it's like a liquid, or if it's like a, a gas buildup, or something, yeah, or if, if it's like something knock physical. On to, if, if you kind of knock on it to kind of like determine, like if there's like it's a hollow, like open space on the other side, or what type of things on the other side, uh, it sounds very solid. Okay, I think something's leaning against these, so I think it's best if we leave it be. Yes, I agree. Let's go through the one that says safe. Yes. So, go up to the door and attempt to open the door. Uh, you open the door. Go through. Uh, you see a, a what well, looks like it might be a well. Like, there's water and everything, or yeah, it's you just... look down into it. You, you see a bronze bucket and a rope, which sits near the well. There's um, an empty basin that stands about eight feet up along the north wall, with stone steps leading up to it. Brass lever protrudes from the wall near the basin. Go ahead and try to grab some of the like. Use the. Bucket. By the way, by the way, just just so you to orient it because because you, you can't see it. This is north. This is west. This is south. This is east. So basically, you're turned clockwise. <laughs> but basically, north, south, east, it's west. it's a door with a well with one like a room with a well and one room and one door, like perfect place if we need to rest, right? Um, sure. so we're still within the 10 minutes. Um, do I detect any anything? Polymorph lasts for an hour. Huh? Yeah. Polymorph lasts for, an for an hour. But I'm talking about my detect magic. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I guess that lasted not even a round. So <laughs> we're still within yeah, that 10 Cyrus minutes. Cyrus was like, boom, bye. <laughs> so I'll just see anything. anything. Hocus pocusy. Nope. Oh, okay. Um, but you, the you base do, you, you do get the sense it just in the air, like there's something about the place in general that's magical. 
mm-hmm. but it's it doesn't really give off a specific thing about it. It's also very dry here. So the basin's over here? Just in the north? Okay. The basin's over here. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to take the bucket and throw it into the well. Because you said there's rope attached to it, right? Yep. All right. And try to take some of the water out. Pull up, you got some water. And bring it to the basin. All right. Bring it to the basin, you pour it in? Yes. All right. Pour it in. Do you, do you, are you just waiting and for you it said, to do something? Or? Well, and you said that there's a, there's a crank? There's a lever. Near the basin? A lever? I pull uh, the, you you pull it and then it kind of like drains out like somewhere else or like back towards the... uh it it looks like it it just kind of like drains out below it and it looks like it might be going in this direction I do it again. Also, uh, another thing, the sides of the well and the floor next to it are covered in, in some bright red mushrooms. Nice. Mushrooms? I would like to eat one. I'm joking. Oh, no. Um, it's thick with a watery sheen that resembles blood. And, well, if you do taste it, it tastes kind of like rot liver. <laughs> um, nice. gross. Yet, oddly satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. That is fine. Sleeping rolls and camping gear are scattered around. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna take the time and while he's doing that and just like inspect every mosaic because I don't know, art. Well, there was one mosaic and it was on the floor in the previous room. We turned half of it into a frog. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna inspect the thing, like in the wall, in the on the mosaic, either the the hole or the rest of the mosaic. Okay, give me a perception check. Perception. perception. Can I do an investigation? Because I'm trying to. I'm trying. To Actually, look. now that I think of it, yeah, it's, it's probably not gonna matter from here. <laughs> huh? Never mind. Oh. Perception or investigation, which are your choice. Investigation. Yeah, it looks like tile mosaic. Nice. Is it like well made? Okay. He's yeah, asking point. how pretty it is. Yeah, it's it's, it's really pretty. Like uh, so, like it was somehow created by as a as part of an abode of some wizard. You, you hmm. I, would, I would have needed <laughs> Potter Potter um, proficiency because uh, th- those are like ceramic tiles, right? Yeah, it looks that way to you. Okay, because okay, they they're not worth money. No, probably not. No, not we wouldn't really be able to retrieve them. Then it's not worth destroying them. That's remarkably edgy for no real reason. <laughs> it's sister. Talking. What are we talking? <laughs> it's sister. Who? Like, or not? Sorry, it's Federica. It it makes sense. <laughs> I feel insulted. Thank you very much. <laughs> it is officially <laughs> an insult. Um, I mean, I could so... make it an unofficial insult, but then it wouldn't be as much fun. <laughs> it's okay, guys. I love you anyway. It's fine. Even if Cyrus is a bitch. <laughs> so, I, I'm doing it again. Like the whole putting the water in there. 
and noticing yeah. and you, yeah. you do kind of notice that that some of the water like you get this bucket full of water and you pour it into the basin but the basin doesn't seem to that, that by the time you get the bucket to the basin like half the water is gone it's like it evaporated oh the water's the, th the thing he's thirsty no, like can I do the bucket? Uh. <laughs> like you, you pull it up, you've got a full bucket of water. As you move over to the basin, uh, by the time you re reach the basin, the bucket's half full. Oh, because the, ba the the basin is broken. Or something. No, it, no, like before You're losing you water. The, before. Yeah, so you pull up a full bucket of water. When you go to pour, pour it into the basin, it's only half full at that time. So from the, the distance bucket? between the well and the basin, half the water has evaporated. Um, so then I'm going to do it one more time, like do the bucket and everything. Okay. I'm going to take out my water flask and see if it's the air and like fill it up and see and bring it to the basin. See if it's one of those that it's the bucket that's like that and or if it's the water. Your your flask is empty when you go to pour, pour it in. So it's the water itself. Okay. Hmm. By the way, if you you had any full water flat uh, well, water flasks or, or or things, they're all all dried up. Okay, so it's the environment. Gotcha. Because you did say it's dry. Yeah, it's kind of dry. Anyone do anything about this thing? Try heat. Meh. I don't think mm. it changes something. As I said, with your detect magic, you detect that there's some magical effect affecting the area. Oh. Um, Cyrus, care yes. to um, do a dispel? Can I do an Arcana check? You I felt this as you were walking into the place. Okay. Or as so as soon as Kriv had had cast the tech magic. Yeah, I felt it. You felt it. Okay. He be would he be aware of what it is? I do an Arcana check to determine what it is. Yeah, that's okay. what I mean. Anybody who wants to do an Arcana check can do it. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm gonna do the Arcana check. I want to twenty-five. Um, Cyrus, you you recognize this as uh, a regional effect of a creature? I would of probably what would might be considered a mummy lord. Oh um, lord, I do not like mummy lords. Mummy lords do not like me. I don't think mummy lords likes anyone. Oh, uh, but what if what if I want to be friends with the mummy lord? Well, they don't like you anyway. That's you rude. This, we can do the chimera trick. Over. <laughs> I mean, maybe we could. We could try. <laughs> Pocket chimera. Pocket mummy lord. We're not Pokemon. Okay. Oh my god, can we make it canonical that I can polymorph things into chibi cute versions of themselves? <laughs> stop it. No. Aww. As, a, cool. as a fellow DM, I say stop it. <laughs> You're as worse as the bard trying to seduce the dragon. Look, I can no. totally go for seduction of dragons. Hey, see, I'm not trying to do that. I'm That's a just social trying to... encounter, so there's a difference. <laughs> I'm trying to turn this. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to turn this game into Pokemon. I'm sorry. So nothing we do <laughs> right now will tell that like will help us out. So Cyrus, Cyrus is going to now uh, develop a uh, artifact called the Pokeball. Oh. Yes, please. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? It's gonna be a legendary. It's, it, it's a. It would probably have to be like a legendary item at least. And that's it's gonna take a, a while. To artifact. Make. That's gonna take years to develop. 
hey, he needs something to do when he's in his uh, mountain library. He needs to get his mountain library. One day. Movie says. Where are you going? That would literally take 500,000 gold pieces. You wouldn't be able to even complete it until your 17th level. Alright. Um, and then... Yeah. So that price we see. 54, almost 55 years to make. Oh, God. I finished my sword handle! <laughs> oh, we moved on, okay. <laughs> Alright. What are you doing? Uh, we're gonna leave the room. Okay. Um... I guess we're gonna go in the corridor. The door looks dangerous. Not that I don't mind about danger, but I think Cyrus doesn't like it. Yeah, I think um, this because like, we know something's pressing up against this. So I think the best bet. That hallway slants down sharply. Looks like about it goes goes like the it goes down it goes down to about fifteen feet from where you are. So it's, when you get to the end, it's about fifteen feet. Marching door. Um. Honestly, I think Jesley should be back here. Sister be behind me. So be flanked by the paladin. Cyrus is right next to Crib. And then sister, then uh, yeah. It's like, oh, um, you didn't give vision to Shatant, by the way. Mm -hmm. And then Zen behind sister or er, Frederica, and then um, he's uh, guess he's taking up the rear. Zandralov uh, has a light spell up. Okay. Um, uh, let me make sure his light is correct. So I responded to you, uh, Justin. Did you like that? Look at my response. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Try to come for me. <laughs> Uh, oh, Kriv, I'm assuming you're you're watching closely because this is kind of a tight hallway. Yeah. Okay. Roll me a perception check. Okay. Listen to that wind. Okay. Yeah, it didn't roll well. Perception power. Pow! Perception power. Uh, Cyrus, you, you do kind of notice, uh, kind of flying right right near uh, 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 Crib's head, uh, you do kind of notice that there's uh, like some sort of plate trigger thingy right here. <gasps> Crib, watch out! Like, there's okay, a thingy! So it's, it's, <laughs> so it's a what again? A plate trigger. Yeah, like a pressure plate. Okay. Um... Gonna have kind of. 
everyone go back up. Except for me. Um, I would like, like to go tired. up to it and investigate it. Hey. I was going to trigger it with my glaive. It, it, no, let's not trigger it. Let's find out what it does first. It looks like it's a pressure plate. Like so. it triggers something which doesn't appear to be nearby. Gonna go in. My glaive. The butt of my glaive, because I'll be able to put more pressure that way. Is to go ahead and go out, like get within good reach of it and I'm gonna it. tell tell Crib that he shouldn't do that. As I'm pressing it. Okay. <laughs> so everybody's back in the other room the uh, the sun the sun from the mosaic uh, slide starts sliding back or slides back and this uh, seven foot diameter sphere which looks like it's made of hundreds of skeletal bodies rises up from the floor and uh, tilts forward and starts rolling down down the corridor. And it's can filling I, the entire corridor. Can from I, here or here? Maybe from us here. It is up here. Can I try to stop it? Uh, roll me a uh, athletics check. Uh, sister. Uh you are grabbed by one one of the hands, but it scrapes past you. Uh, the 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 whole bowel bowl. Yeah, bowl. it actually tries to pull you in, but you pull. It actually tries to pull you into the ball. Oh, but is it uh, rolling? You are able to 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 get out. Of, you you're able to pull yourself away, and it continues rolling down. Can I can I say uh, I need I need everybody who's in the corridor right now to we roll have enough dexterity a, a either an acrobatics or an athletics check. Can I say or, to Zindelov, yeah. turn on dead, they're alive. <laughs> um, can I just as it's coming down to mention or me and Kriv over here? This is what I was trying to ask. Yeah, sure. Or, yeah. I was like Crave, I told you not to set it off! Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. That's not a very Crave thing to say. You're like, ah! You? <laughs> and Cyrus kind of like grabs onto the back of Crave and then just goes, <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you're back above where it is and Boulder rolls down and crashes against the wall. Can I say canonically, um, <laughs> as it's rolling down, Cyrus just does a big, a big sigh, a wind up, and then smacks Crib on the butt and Dimension Doors. <laughs> yeah, sure. I, I, I like the suddenly uh, screams, clutches onto Crib's back, and disappears. But sure, <laughs> difference opinion. <laughs> You're like. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I think he's just jealous because he hits his husband. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Different crib. Huh? Well, Cyrus is like, this is not like crit you crib. I'm like, well, I'm part barbarian now. Fair enough. Well, Cyrus I'm not. To, to actually hurt crib anyways. Plus, he's got a big old metal bum for because of his his uh, plate armor. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I I would like to say, just it canonically rings out like a gong. <laughs> Bong. <laughs> it, it, you hear half the dong, and then, and then really poof. Bad, and then uh, from down the corridor, and then you hear the remainder of it uh, back in the the room. Okay, did the, the the hole where the skeletal ball come up like close back up? Yep. Mm. Well, that hallway is safe now. Presumably. Oh. Let's hope there's okay. not a second one. 
Well, there's probably some stuff down here now, but possibly. Okay, the question is: Is do you jump over the plate or do you walk over the plate? Does it look like it has reset? Yes. Then yes. We yeah, you jump over the plate. Jump. Yes. Okay. Like if it looks like it hadn't reset, then I was gonna worry about it. But if yeah, it looks it's like it has reset, it's 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 just enough that somebody casually walking down the hallway would step on it, but if you knew that it was there, you could easily avoid it. Making my way downtown with the skeletons. Uh, the smell of incense fills this room and rich tapestries cover the wall. On the south wall, a chute large enough uh, only for a small creature to squeeze through is set, lets in light from outside. You hear in here uh, humility pro-offered in the manner of a mistral shelters those opening the way to seek knowledge, uh, to seeking knowledge. Edgy. Hmm. There's the comment to everything. Edgy. All right, I'm going to just put the verbiage in here. See, if any of you guys played WoW and have been gone through some of the Necklord stuff, uh, and you hear the voice of the Primus, that's what I'm imagining this voice is. So I assume it's that is down here too. Um, yes. Uh, you also see uh, six sarcophagi embedded in the walls. Oh, actually, no, they're behind tapestries, so you don't see them. Um, Never mind. <laughs> um, can can we like normally sarc sarcophagi are not empty? Can we open one at a time? We well, don't know. They, that. You don't you don't know they're there unless you actually like investigate the tapestry and put them aside to see him. <laughs> oh, there's there's sarcophagi in the tapestry. They they're behind the tapestry, so technically you don't see them unless you actually move the tapestry. I misspoke. Oh, my bad. There's no sarcophagi. What sarcophagi? There's just some tapestries here. <laughs> <laughs> Must be my true sight, I guess. <laughs> uh, that you don't have. Okay. Um, Mistrial sounds like a person does that sound familiar to anyone uh I, can i do a religion sure anybody who wants to do a religion check they can do it nope me sitter doesn't know that because oh. it, it's not from he's actually i will see what gizli knows he's proficient it's not from our world 18. so uh gizli and and uh cyrus know, are, are familiar that um, that a character of a, a that a, there's a holy jester among the adherents of the fallen goddess Mistral, involving turning the head downward and raising the hand, raising the hands that felt holding the lamp. Hands, head bound, hands out. Hey. You're, you're holding a lamp. Although I, I suppose if you're going to be opening a door, you would door or something. You would have just like a hand up, like like a lantern, like when the like a hanging lantern. And where are these tapestries? There's a tapestry here, a tapestry here, a tapestry here, a tapestry here, and a tapestry here. Uh, 
Uh, what did they depict? Rich tapestries. <laughs> uh, I would say they they have just like some arcane symbols on it. Actually, there's probably a few few more tapestries than the one that I, one that I pointed out, but uh, I would say because they don't give me a specifics about what they depict. I would say that Cyrus would be able to notice that each of the tapestries um, uh, somehow represent uh, a school of magic and then and some <gasps> arcane symbols. 110% we are robbing them of these tapestries. <laughs> Fucking yoink. We grabbing it. Sure, you find behind six of them that there are some sarcophagi. <laughs> <gasps> wow! Behind the pet tapestries. Can I do investigation on the sarcophagi? See if there's something in it. Uh, in them. Like, are you going to try to open it, or are you going to try to investigate without opening it? Yeah, investigate without opening it. Uh, well, tap onto it. Does sound like it's well. Sounds like a sarcophagus. Uh, you could give me a, a investigation check. See if you can get some more. 27 based based off of some of like like you go to like tapping around it uh while it it still kind of has that hollow sound uh based off of how the sound is is kind of like echoing it there is something inside all right can i detect magic sure all right do i see anything no Right. Um. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm gonna say no. Hmm. What do you think, Cyrus? There's something inside, but. Not sure what. Yeah, I'm not really sure what. Hmm. Can I cast identify on it? The sarcophagi? It's a sarcophagus. Okay. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> They could like be a mummy lord inside. As I, I don't said, know. As I said, you detected magic. You didn't detect anything, so there's actually technically nothing to identify. Okay. So you don't don't. I, I I wouldn't assume that you you actually use the spell slot to cast identify because you would have already known there's nothing to identify. All right. There may be there may be something inside, like like if, if it's. A mummy lure or just a regular mummy or maybe it's just a skeleton of some dead person magics uh i'm gonna open one Fuck wait, no. wait, wait, wait 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 divine sense uh read me what the the specifics of that is you check good and evil until the end of your next turn. You can sense anything affected by the hollow spell or know the location of anything celestial fiend un undead within 60 feet that is not behind total coverage. Well, uh, that would be, be that total coverage. Be of, yeah. yeah, you don't yeah. detect anything. Well, I, I would know I wouldn't be able to. So. I, I, I would say because it's sarcophagus, you would detect that there are five, bunny, uh, there are five undead beings inside five of these sarcophagi yeah, oh know, but there's six actually of them, no, right? six of them six of them yeah, yeah. okay i was about but to be like oh, when... one of them doesn't have it <laughs> look at my screen and i'm only counting five so they uh, they did something wrong here 
How can I look? Oh, uh, the undead. Okay. Well, are some mummies in here. Um, yes. Me yes. and yes. Uh, Gizzy are proficient at killing undead things. Okay, I want these sarcophagi because they're pretty. They'll go really good in, t in, the, in the library. Yoink! And uh, we're so gonna be like, fight. I want them. We're going to fight? Yeah. Yes. All right, um, everyone. Are you guys, well, are, are you just taking the sarcophagus, or are you actually opening no, the sarcophagus? We're gonna open. We're I, gonna I'm open. taking one sarcophagus, my me included. Uh, I would like Mummy to use it. roll me roll me a strength check. Okay, before I do anything, I would like to cast fabricate on kill the mummy. No, 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 no. I want to cast. Just wait. I want to cast fabricate on one of the sarcophagi. Fabricate lets me alter materials. Here, let me just see. Convert raw materials into products of the same material. For example, you can fabricate a wooden bridge from a clump of trees, a rope from a patch of hemp, and clues from flax or wool. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just using fabricate to seal the sarcophagi completely. Lol. Wow. So I'm using they the raw the material of the sarcophagi to connect the wood to itself. Well, or the stone. Yeah, it's stone. Whatever it's used, whatever okay. it is. Stone then. I'm like, you are we're able taking... to successfully seal one of the sarcophagi. Perfect. This one's coming back to the thing for study later. Okay, we can kill the rest. And then I can, <laughs> I can take care of it later. Me or Gizli can move it later. Yeah, we can study it right. later. Uh, Alright. Uh, what so what are you doing? We're, gonna we're go killing the rest up. of the mummies. We're going to open gonna them open up. up try opening up one at a time okay cool which one are you opening up? We well one here one here one here one here and one here i'm gonna say there was another one here which was it was the, the, the one uh, successfully sealed. fabricated <laughs> yeah okay so we'll go ahead and go to this one right here okay. i'm gonna go to this one right here gizly just in case something happens, it's going to stand in front of the one that's over here. Just Cyrus in case. Gonna if... stay in the middle. Okay, I need you to move back one square. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I, I, sister, I, it's right yeah. there, yeah. Sister, I'm going to need you to keep it at Zen and everyone else. Keep an eye out on the other ones. Just in case by opening one, something like they all open up. Sure. So. Uh, can I do an arcana check for mummies? What would I know about mummies in my lands? Like, before anything happens? Yeah. Well, there aren't any mummies in Ravnica. I doubt about that. Yeah, there's no mummies in Ravnica. <laughs> uh, I, I would agree with that. But she's also a far traveler, so... In your your adventures, you, you might have run across mummies. Um, roll me in and a a uh, near our counter check. Nope. Yeah, you know they're undead things. Hmm. Can I roll the history? If I've read about mummies anywhere, uh, you would have to do it on our account. It would be in our counter check still. That's fine. Yeah, or not. Remember that they're undead and they're wrapped in bandages. Think about it. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and open up the one Everybody in front. Do this? Yep. They're undead. They need to be dead. Cool. They, they not. They don't need to be un. <laughs> How's the description for this work? Uh, 
And I know how bad mummies are. Okay. I've never fought mm. mummies before, so. Oh, you don't want to fight them. Normally. I mean, they weren't doing anything until you did something, so. I know. <laughs> you're 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 standing in there. You're probably talking really loudly. They weren't doing anything. You never know. So. All right, roll for initiative. Cyrus is surprised by the mummies. Very surprised by the mummies, evidently. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so is Frederica. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, my God. Yeah. Crit Look fail, that. crit fail, crit fail, crit. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> I was in the love of see. Send your love crit, too. <laughs> Oh Crit god. <laughs> I don't know why this is like. I, did, I got my thing set to always roll. Like, we were actively prepared for this too, and it's like, oh no, the mummies, they all opened. What are we gonna do? <laughs> they're just taking their turn first, apparently. Yeah. But Chris, Chris. So he was all ready. They're right, gonna sleep. Let me make sure I got everybody here. Uh, add turn. Cyrus got a four. Uh, do we get everybody? One, two, three, four, five, six, and mummies. All right, let's get that in the right order. Kriv just like heaves and pushes off the thing and brings his glaive around or something. I don't know. What does he do? He probably has it like just like he's probably he probably just shoved that thing open like with like his offhand like had the glaive ready you and just like offhand then battle soon. Okay, so I would like to rage. You you you, you do. Re like rawr! All of a sudden First. the metal metal is. Of his armor just kind of like seeps into his skin, and he, now he's just wearing like this leather, uh, looks like a leather uh, strap with it. It's still a metal metal pauldron, but it's not enough to be considered his armor. Uh, and it shrinks down, his pants uh, turns to more leather like, and his, his scales are all these different, uh, basically, has turned into the colors of his armor. A change. So, uh, he shows up. All right, and then I am going to go wacky wacky on this one. Cool, you do that. Ignore fire damage. Is it sixteen hit. Yeah, totally. All right, so nine damage. And then we're gonna add a smite on. Oh, that's cool. I actually saw the dice disappear and then like turn into snap. Yeah, I know, right? I've seen it before. So I was like, turn like a big runway. So are, we're gonna. Are you, hear are you hearing the sounds it's making too? Yeah, I hear the wind, but I didn't see it like disappear. Oh, so sorry. Right, so, <laughs> move it on. Um, we're gonna throw a smite on the there. Okay. A level, a level one. Because that's going to be too automatic. Just due to the fact that it's an undead. So it's going to be 2d8. Two, two oh. It's... Wow. So... so, 12 damage. Actually, 14. No. Because of rage. Yeah, yeah, 14, 14. Too bad it doesn't show that. Just gotta remember. Yeah, you need to remember to add in your rage damage. Uh, do you have an extra attack? I do. Yeah. Damn. Is it dead? Uh, nope. Okay, then, might. Uh, Alright, so that's, uh... Two more slashing. 
And then you're smiting. Oh, we man. Go. That's we go. Nice. That's what we want to see. He pushes it aside and just goes, ah! foof, foof. Slashes uh, the, the, the mummy. No more mummy in front of me. <laughs> All right. He's, and then he's still gonna... he's still up, but he's looking pretty torn. Oh well. Oh. Well, dang. Is that Anything else? Twenty. That's additional thirty-six. Does it take it down? No. Oh. Hold on. Rage. <laughs> no, 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 no. I I was doing my math wrong. But so. so yeah, it's, it's gone like because it's... Cause it, it, that would have been the total of 18 plus 16 plus doubled again um, to then knock it down. Okay. Yeah. So then. So it's, that's that money. We're going to go move right here. And that'll be the end of. Crow's turn. That was right. a good turn. And then the sarcophagi uh, open up and uh, the uh, five, four other mummies uh, come out. <laughs> Great uh, effects. And make some attacks. Um, start off with Gizli. Let's see. Uh, I need Gizli to make a wisdom saving throw. He, he now it. fails it, but still takes the it's an eleven. Yeah. Uh because he had got one of those. Oh wait. This is uh whispered. I don't want it whispered. So you can see it. Let me eh. hit it again so you can see it. There you go. Uh, hey, and then then with his fist, kind of swings at uh, uh, Gizli. Uh, nope. And misses. Uh, the next one uh, comes out and comes up to Zin. Uh, Zin makes a wisdom saving throw, which shouldn't be too bad considering certain things. <laughs> uh, and uh, it doesn't really hit because... Uh, Alright, he's wearing some badass armor. Uh, this one will call, come up to uh, Federica and uh, Federica, I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw. Plus three to that. Because I'm within ten feet. Yay. Uh, and I have advantage on the wisdom save. Why do you have advantage on wisdom save? Vet Alkins. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> so. uh, racial <laughs> traits. Fortunately, it's an easy DC, anyways. Uh, and I'm assuming a ten, uh, twelve does not hit you, right? No, but I'm done. I'm gonna do an opportunity attack when it enters my uh, my field of vision. So, uh, even though he wanted to hit me, it's not gonna hit me, I guess, because it's gonna be Sentinel if I hit. Uh, and it's Tong Wave. But he was already in your melee because he was within 10 feet. He just took a step forward. Uh, okay. Yeah, then no problem. Did yeah. one of them move in my, uh, in my way then? Mm, not yet. Maybe this one? I suppose, but Cinderloff was kind of in the way. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I'm going to say no. No. Nah, okay. Um, why is Frederica going before me? She's she's not she's she's thinking okay. of opportunity attacks. Sorry, I was just curious. No, that's you know, okay. You know these things that wizards don't have. Uh, Crave, go ahead and make me a wisdom saving throw. Uh, I'm assuming a twenty three does not hit you either. Nope. A twenty? Yeah, no. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, you're fine. Dirty twenty. All right. Gizli has a mummy in front of him. 
All right. Uh, he is going to go Ixen. Activate his sword. <laughs> Wait. And then Divine Smite. Okay. And since these are from seeing Kriv go after him. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? New spells. You, you do kind of notice that uh, uh, the flames catch the uh, uh, bandages on fire. I was thinking about that. Um, we do a level 2 divine smite, so 3d8. Oh, shit. Oh, what? No, well, never mind. What? Nothing. An additional 15. And I believe he has extra attack. Yep. Ah, wow. <laughs> Plus 12, baby. Sadly, that's still not a crit. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Wow. And we're going he, he to... Kills. He, he kills that mummy easily. Okay. Uh, Cyrus, there are two mummies with... Two mummies. Or there's three mummies, excuse me. Um, three mummies. They they are uh, have bandages, uh. and if you were watching Gizli uh, with his flaming sword cut through, you did notice that the fire did a lot more damage than. You did <gasps> wow, I appreciate that. We're going oh, to as a mine. When? Hmm. Was that the whole? Oh, wait a minute. Because of mine? No, no, no. I was thinking of something else. Oh, I was going to say, like, which then, then shield... as I look back onto it, it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. I was like, also like, my shield wasn't activated, so I wasn't doing fire damage. Right. That was not what I was talking, thinking about. All right. Well, I'm going to cast Scorching Ray. Cool. Scorch that ray. Which one are you talking? Um, I'm going to do this one. Okay. All right. So I need to you make three attacks. All right. Well, you did oh, one already. One. In any case, oh, you hit with all three of them. <laughs> oh, okay. All of them hit. Okay. Yeah, all of them hit. Okay. Um, but so there you go. Well, we already oh. took. I already took the original eleven, and we, then we'll do the other two. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, sixteen for the second one and twelve for the third one. Uh, it's looking pretty bad. It's on fire. It took a lot more damage than it, than it looked like the spell should it, it would have done. Frederica. Um, I will attack the the one uh, trying to attack uh, Hall Little Boy over there. Are you gonna wait, of, like wait. shift around so that? Yeah. Gizli did twenty four damage, right? Well, he he had two attacks. Oh, that yeah, okay. Yeah. I just need. I, I was like, is this the Mummy Lord? <laughs> no, it's just. You didn't do quite enough. <laughs> yeah. Between the first attack and a... Oh, um... Divine Smite. I found something on... Like, uh, I'm gonna talk to you about about it uh, at the end. Anyways, Federico, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to move and attack. Okay. So I'm gonna move there and take an opportunity at... Oh, uh, no. I'm just gonna move there. Yeah. And I will attack this one. Um but the one that Cyrus hit, right? Yeah. Okay. Well the one the one uh adds in the love. Yeah, same one. <laughs> exactly. That was the one that Cyrus started, so just just making sure. Yep. And uh, I will wait. Why doesn't it show? Oh, there it is. Not with advantage, normal roll. 
First attack. It's magical. I don't know why it's not right. No, oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, it, you you slash it. Deceased. Deceased. Yeah, just spin around and attack the other one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna spin around and attack the other one. Um, this, this is the good one. Why? No, it's not with advantage. So thirteen. Yeah, it still hits. Twenty-six damage. Twenty-six damage. Where did the one come from? Uh, it's uh, shoot and acid. It's one acid from my uh, subclass. Got it. So total twenty-six or is it twenty-seven? Twenty-seven. Okay. I don't know how it's showing up on there. So. Uh, cause it's uh, it's written as a modifier, like it would be for a sneak attack or something. That's I guess I'm just expecting it to look a little differently, but... Yeah. Um, and I will do a uh, um, pull arms bonus action to um, finish this one, I guess. Try to finish this one. just want to say those rolls are perfect. Then I, I can't remember what I did for that for the subclass. Could you do that for every attack or was it just one attack uh no it's just one attack okay so it should only be 18. yeah but at the same times i need to talk to you about that all right and uh that's my turn all right your so you you're gonna see uh a familiar baby dragon appearing on the battlefield uh, well, appearing after the attack. Oh, it's a line, eh? Yeah. So he's gonna be an intelligent boy. And go on, like, on my shoulders, I guess. I don't want to move the map. And do a... He, he, he's like, he like puts his head like right over your shoulder. Yeah, and just <laughs> acid breath both of them. Alright, well, it's a deck save. Uh, yeah, it's a dex save DC 15. Okay. One, two. Right. Uh, so I, I gotta say it hits the first one in the line. Swirl damage. Yeah, 5d8 acid damage. So 20 acid damage. All right. That one's gone. So, you can now clearly see a cute little dragon, as you know, for Shutan. With a, with a, a translucent wing. Yes. Shutan appears. Uh, Zinderlob spins around, sees the other one. Shutan's uh, joined the fray. Seeing how uh, uh, all the others were kind of dispatched, uh, he's, he's just going to go... He's just going to look at the other one and go. And a burst of little flame comes up. And. Ooh, nice. Well, not that, I should say. And uh, radiantly burns. the corpse. The only thing is it's raking damage. It's not fire. It's not fire, so it's not vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, he, he just kind of goes, goes, Griff? <laughs> I just turn to Zen and just thank you. I'm going to activate you're, you're my in school. the major you, you just, you probably don't even notice as you're just staring down this mummy lord and going, ah! Uh, activate my shield. Is this mummy lords? Nah, mummies. Oh god. You you had my, my, my heart skip for a second. Six mummy lord? Oh gosh, no. No, there's six mummies. 
please don't. It's time 19. Uh, 21. 21. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. I need to calculate this different. So it's 15 and then 12. <laughs> yeah. Just, 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 just roll an attack. I don't, I don't oh, care right. about damage right now. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's dead. <laughs> you, you hit it. You would you have had to miss it to really <laughs> not kill it. And uh, that is that is that is the, the thing. All all the mummies are dead. Look the mummies. For now. Uh, they got nothing. If you guys want new bed, it's the time. That's rude. You do hear a p -p 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 uh, on the um, sealed sarcophagus. Um, it is also time for a break. So, yay! While we're while we're gonna go for a break for everybody on the stream, I'm going to uh, give you the beginning of last week's uh, comes out loud. Uh, be back in about five. In this episode of Cubs Out Loud, it's on what's going on for the month of January. This month, the guys talk about their role-playing activities during the first month of 2021. From political transitions to vaccinations, the Cubs celebrate all things new in the new year. Let's start the year off right as COL 588 starts now. It's January 31st, 2021. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. Welcome to Comes Out Loud, the Bear Podcast. We've been to Lakes, episode number uh, uh, 588. Uh, it's our what's going on for the, the for the month of January, because, you know, it's the 31st. What better to do the last day of the month is to talk about what we did this month. Let's find out. So I realized I have a lack of motivation for doing anything at work right now. Mm. Absolutely anything. Hmm. The only thing that I have motivation for is wow. And that's it. So. Um, sounds about on brand. Yeah. That's that, that's my January, really. Playing a lot of wow. Streaming it. You can find that streaming on. Oh, YouTube.tv slash comes out loud or the live uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays uh, on uh, uh, twitch.tv slash windgem, W Y N D G E M. Where there's there also go. bears and dragons. Plug. See? That, that, that was the point. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless promotion and plugging of our own shows. Like, let's. let's... <laughs> well, 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 like this, this last week, though, Wednesday. Wait, wait, no, this. Was it this last week that I did it? Oh, I, I think I actually had to work on Wednesday. No, mm. no, 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 no. That was the previous week, I think. I can't remember. My brain is hurting. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was the previous week because that was the inauguration. Um, mm -hmm. I had to work on a Wednesday, and I then took that Friday off, so my streaming schedule is just, like, shifted. Mm -hmm. days. Uh, but uh, this last Wednesday, instead of streaming WoW, I spent five hours creating two subclasses. Oh, God. And I streamed that. So that is available on the thing. I think I might have to re-export some stuff back to... Or have to export some things, which I haven't done for Thursday streams for the 
I don't think. Mm. But uh, yeah, and it's like even like my downtime, I just make sure that I can hear the dings from the chat, and I <laughs> come over here and play WoW <laughs> during work. Oh when, my! When when they're when I'm not doing anything else. And I'm, I suppose oh there might be some other like minor little things, but no one's really assigned me anything. So I'm like, eh, whatever. I have motivation to, 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 I just don't feel any motivation to actually like jump in and like work on some extra things that they don't tell me to do that I could do. So, and there's things yeah. that I could do. I just, you know, it hasn't really been assigned to me and mm -hmm. say, Hey, I need this done. It, like there's no nothing I need to do, but there's things I could do. So again, lack of motivation for doing any of that. But mm. I have plenty of motivation to uh, putz around all day and while. So, anyways, that's me. Jim. Fair. Um, let me get back to the doc. Uh, so the fun thing usually about January for me is um, if I don't have any, P if I have PTO left over, I have to use it or I lose it. So um, one of the things that I have done this month in particular was I took off every Friday. Um, I had like four, I had four and a half days left. I took a half day on a Thursday, like earlier in the month um, to go to a doctor's appointment and just do random shit. And then I've had every Friday off. So it's been, very nice, but it definitely throws off the weekend, you know, having an extra day where you can sleep in and do nothing kind of thing or do stuff, but not like work. Um, so every weekend I have to remind myself what day it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like that is part of why I have a Sunday routine before the podcast. Cause that's how I remind myself to keep reminding myself that it's Sunday. Um, did you order yeah. breakfast? Yeah, I did. And they forgot the drink this time, not the food this time. Ooh. So that's nice. So I, I got another crap. It is fine. Whatever. You know, it's, I'm going to, I'm going to do this one more time through, through DoorDash. I'll use DoorDash. And if they don't get two bags again, I'm going to have a fit. And I'm just going to say like, like it, if, whose fault is it? is what it kind of kind of come, come down to. Mm -hmm. Is it McDonald's fault for not putting the one in two bags or two, you know, two bags? Or is it the driver's fault who's just not paying attention and just grabs a bag? Mm -hmm. I mean, at least this time they grabbed the bag that actually has the tag on it that has the, like, order number and stuff. So they knew it was mine. Like, grabbing just the drink bag from last week, I was kind of like, well, why did you just grab that one? It didn't even have any of this, like... Like pick up order and um, a, a label attached so that you knew it was for this order. So whatever. Anyway. I'd be Rose. I didn't watch the. I didn't watch the the, the Golden Girls, but I would probably be the like. The most whole or bitchy one. I, I don't know. I don't know them. I should. Is she? Hmm. I 
like as Dustin, Jeff, Jordan, and Justin. Okay, I was like, like who are we talking about? I'd probably be. Yeah. All right, Rose. Yeah. Who's who? That'd be agreed. But yeah. Oh, she she has a she has a French name. Do you want to know the correct pronunciation of her name? Yeah, Blanche. Yeah, but like, <laughs> it's a French name. That's what I mean. It's Blanche. Yeah, it's Blanche. But you had it correct at the uh, at the second try. Like, what is the pronunciation? Yeah, Blanche. <laughs> no. It's a southern thing. It's not a. It's not a French thing. It's southern. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. Um. Uh, even a uh, cubby agreed. I'd be Rose. Yeah. <laughs> like Golden Girls. Yeah. Like yeah, you're Rose. Like I don't see anything wrong. In I love. Them. I'm gonna say Blanche just because the amount of sex he talks about. It's like the amount of sex, like of all of us that we like. Uh, regularly, like the amount of sex we talk about, he talks about it. So, I don't know. I don't know. She's the most, uh, the most hoe, I guess. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know me. I don't, I don't see it, but since that's the only option, <laughs> I By the way, for everybody who's listening to the podcast or, or listening to the show, which uh, I forgot to unmute my mic toward the uh, stream. No. Oh. So they heard all your com side of the conversation, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been bad about doing that. That's okay. We don't blame you. That's okay. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm just. We love you anyway. He says since Justin's more blunt, he'd probably be Dorsey. Okay, so I'll probably be Sophia. Wait. Well, apparently, it's a nice show that is worth the watch. It is. Thank you for being in the front. Comment down the Hello, I am back. Hi, uh, hi, Dorothy. Oh, <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? Of all of us, you're Dorothy. Uh, Jordan is Blanche. I'm Rose, and Wind is Sophia. We were we were thinking about if if we were the Golden Girls, who would we be? I don't know if Dorothy is a good or thing or a bad thing because I've never seen it. I've been meaning to make time to watch it, but I have like four million other gay 
Pass things to watch. Not being neither of any of them is a bad thing. Um, Dorothy is just the most blunt of them all. I'm Dorothy. She's the bitch. Yeah. I, I oh, why you am I the bitch? bitch? No, she's not a bitch. Um, it's just she is very take no attitude, like say it as it is type of person. And of all four of us, that's you. Oh, I guess. Like we're we're going at like just us four and stuff, and not as our characters, as the, per, per, the person themselves. Dustin, Jeff, Jordan, Justin, a lot of J's here. <laughs> there are. <laughs> Anyways, uh, like my mummy tube audio Lots that I have now playing. Yes. All right. Okay. Everybody got the list until the first five minutes comes out loud this week. This is our What's Going On episode for the month of January 2021. Do that once a month. Or try to. Sometimes we end up doing twice a month, but one of them was for the previous month, so it's out of mouth is out, I suppose. It might happen more than once a month, but it, you do it one for the month. It's either at the uh, end or just after. That's what this week's going to be about. Uh, mummies have been neutralized. All right. So with that um, divine scent, it does radio 60 feet. Besides the mummies in here, does that anything else? Nothing in this room. Nothing in this room, but anything else, like because that goes like sixty feet out. The rest this of it is, is definitely total cover. Oh yeah, so I forgot the total coverage. So okay, what do you think? Uh, anything we like notice out of the ordinary between these two sets of doors? One's a set of double doors, and one is a single door. Jolly hopes. Okay. Uh, any, like, anyone have any recommendations of what we should? Do you want Besides, to go through a door. Unfortunately, I have no, no recommendation. All right, I'm gonna go up to this door. And listen to see if I hear anything on the other side. Oh, Bobby, here. You don't hear anything. Didn't even roll. No, sure, go ahead and roll perception check. <laughs> you know, Harry. <hearing. laughs> There's nothing to hear. So. Okay. Yeah, you don't hear anything. Um. Good um harness divine power two spell slots so i've used that you know i done during insert rest uh, or is that yeah. a bonus action or something what the i just used divine uh harness divine power okay is that a bonus action or is it a? It or... as a bonus action, yeah, I can use it to use my channel divinities to regain a spell slot up to level two. Okay, cool. And I just use both of them now, just so. Um. Then I'll go up to this door and try to see if I hear anything. Okay, perception. Check. Wow. 
You don't hear anything. I hear nothing from either side. So, what do y'all think we should do? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go bottom. Bottom? Yeah. Alright. Bottom it is. You open the door. You run into another door. I open oh, the other door. Alright. Uh, right. You, uh. There's a thing. You got a room, uh, which looks like it was a library. Dusty shelves and tables are now empty. Uh, there is there's a library. You Where do see that? what looks to be a a, a, a a specter, a ghost of a uh, a woman who who looks at you and says, "You better not take anything from here." Arsh just has to read. Can I borrow it? it? Well, if you, look around, if you look around, there's nothing to even look at. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't even take anything. That's rather dumb. Why do you have a library with nothing in it? Okay, hold on. Oh yes, that's a that's a fair point. Yeah, I think that will happen. Everybody make me a, uh, a wisdom saving throw. Um, you guys add plus five to yours. Okay. Looks like it's gonna change something. I roll. <laughs> I roll the five both times. <laughs> Way advantage. <laughs> Thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. Okay. Uh, she shrieks. You cast in a horrifying visage. Oh God! But, uh, no why? Why did you do that? She and then she kind of wails. Is like, oh, I fell. I, I think the fact that you pointed out that there's nothing in the library uh, kind of upset her. Wonder why. Well, why'd you do that, Frederica? And Cyrus will punch her in the arm. Now you gotta make her cry. <laughs> oh, because you said that. No, no. Don't even try. You said that with your tongue. You can talk now. Mm -hmm. Go and apologize to the lady. Sorry. Is it initiative time? Yeah, you upset her. Aww. Can I cast calm emotions? No, because you need to roll initiative. I don't, right. I don't think that's on your spell list. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> Oh, but Cyrus is ready. He's ready. Uh, I didn't roll for that. I didn't roll for that. 
Alright, right, is that everybody? One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Now, just to keep in mind, you said something which you could easily tell that she got offended for, which means it was the reason why she probably casted her her fight visage. Can I? Can I? <laughs> oh, it's not my turn. So, keep in mind, this doesn't necessarily have to be a fight, but it does look that he, the, that she's ups, uh, absolutely obsessed, uh, upset at the fact that you pointed out that there's nothing there. Can is I there a reason her? why she why she'd be here? Like, isn't she dead? Don't ask her if she's dead because she'll probably get mad at us again. Cyrus, what are you doing? Um, I think Cyrus will probably just back. like put his hands up and be like, "Oh, I'm sorry." You have a wonderful collection. And, and then I'll be like, "What a wonderful collection of things you have here! It looks awesome." I couldn't see a couple seconds ago. You know, it's so it's so dark in Roll here. Give me a deception check. <laughs> Cuz you're trying Now, I would have like originally have given you a persuasion check, but you started to ramble on about about trying to lie about the fact that there's something it's the same there. either way. <laughs> But there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. She is very upset that you're trying to deceive her. I, I will allow you an actual action action. So that's like a bonus action. Maybe there's a reason why she, like, there's nothing. It's not your turn yet. Welcome. This is work. A anything, anything you actually want to do during during this besides that, or? Can I? I would like. I'd like to cast suggestion. Okay. That's I'm just gonna be like, hey, hey, I'm sorry. Calm down. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Nope. So it uses the spell slot and doesn't work. Right. Uh, all oh. right. Uh, Zinger Love says, uh, "We're terribly sorry. We 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 didn't mean to." Uh, to upset you, um, can me try to understand why you are here? Uh, he's gonna do it. Uh, nope, that's the wrong button. Uh, I'm not gonna have a anchor. Huh? Uh, he's not really persuasive enough. Um, and he's actually going to hold an action. Does Chitant do anything? Yes. He's going to hide. <laughs> You're going to hide behind some bookshelves or something like that? Yeah. Let me roll, roll a stealth check. Yep. In this form, he is not a rogue. <laughs> no, in this form, he's not a rogue. He he, he quickly hides behind the uh, behind the bookshelf. Good. A bookshelf, but there's nothing here. It, it, there are still shelves and stuff. It's just there. okay. I thought I thought it was like an empty room. <laughs> no, That's it's not a... an empty room. It's just it's it it looks like it would be like a study in a library. 
but there's no books or tomes or scrolls or anything like that there. Okay. All right. Does Gizli do anything? Uh, he's just gonna um, kind of assess the situation and um, hold off right now. Just hold an action. Um, if he gets attacked, he's gonna speak. Okay. How about Crave? Uh, he's he is gonna go up. He's like, no, you have actually have a great selection. I would actually like to add to it. And he's gonna reach into his bag of holding and take out the spell scroll of haste hmm. and attempt to give it to her. Like, okay. we want to add this to your collection. Uh, go ahead and roll me a persuasion check with advantage. I suppose this could be kind of considered a, more of a skills challenge, but... Okay. Four. She, she, she seems to uh, calm down and says, Oh, oh, why, 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 thank you, and her hands go right through the scroll. Says, I'll just set this right, right, right here on the shelf. Like, and then you just go ahead and like place it on one of the shelves here. Or is there a certain space you would like me to place it? No, no, no. Right there would be be just fine. I guess. And, and actually, it seems like you've calmed her down. So. Uh, says, I wish I knew where everything went. Um, I I would say uh, anybody who wants to could could roll a religion check. Yay, intelligence. Religion! Ball! Fail. I didn't do good. But want to talk about it? I crit failed. Let's see how intelligent my baby is. He's more intelligent than Mama right now. Uh, so so she thought from from behind the bookcase, kind of peeks his head over after kind of seeing that she's calmed down. And says, "Uh, maybe if we find something that was supposed to be here and we returned it." And Zendra Lost like, "Yeah, uh, I suppose it's it's very strange that she, you don't seem like somebody who would need to." S to stay around in the afterlife. Um, but if we do return something, uh, perhaps that would help you to move on. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I would like the, the, the library to get back to what it was. Gizli would have kind of the same idea. It's like, or something. Yeah. So this would be like, ooh, she's not touching none of my books. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm guessing there's some particular books that she would like to have back that were originally here. Necronomicon, Demonomicon. Okay, let's not throw some. Do, do, do you mention those things? Back now while we're at it. Why not? Let's not, let's not mention those because maybe they'll be like, oh yes, bring me those. No, 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 don't worry, I'm not mentioning anything. We don't want to give them ideas. The things to add that would be hard for us to find. Uh, You're right. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry I, I scared you, but I see see that they're, that you're, you're, you, you seem to be kind of friendly here. Uh, well, is there anything that I can do for you? Um, do you know anything about why the stuff went missing? No. It must have been taken. I, I don't know. I'm actually here searching for a dwarf uh, that we know. He's, um, he, he'd be in blue, purple robes. You by chance seen a 
I haven't seen a dwarf pass through here. I do know that the Yuan Ti. I've been trying to use the divination pool. There's a divination pool? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Ditter, yes. Uh, the passion was so powerful, the vision magic. And he discovered this mysterious pool in this cavern complex. Um, he ex like, excavated these chambers around the pool. And kings and wizards can bear tribute when he died after many centuries of life. It's, this has become too script. That is very interesting. That's very good knowledge to have. Uh, Maybe he's... Uh, actually, I'm just going to give you everything that, that's here because I'm assuming we're kind of going along the, the lines. That's basically what you learn from her. So the divination pool allows those using it to peer past uh, many magical protections that block lesser div divination magic. The pool's revelations could drive a user insane unless the questions asked are specific dealt only with the physical world, uh, avoiding metaphysical concerns. Easing into the pool without first offering a sacrifice uh, was exceedingly dangerous. Using the divination pool uh, requires a personal sacrifice, but over time, the pool's demands grew steeper. Others have been using the pool since Duras died. Uh, I suspect the BYT do. Uh, its current price must be dark indeed. Okay. Thank you for this information. Um, do you know, can you point us in the area where the pool is? I mean, there's only really one way, and she points towards the double doors. Thank you. That, that was, of course. Thank you. Uh, anything else we should, besides the Yanti, that we should watch out for? Mm, not that I'm aware of. You should listen to the Master's warnings. We shall. Thank right, you. Shall we continue? Yep. Yep. She she's kind of like the Moni Myrtle of this world. Nice. Moni Myrtle. Myrtle. All right, we'll go up to the store, see if there's anything like coming out from the other side. Like, nope. They look okay. very similar to the doors in the other room. Oh. Okay. Cautiously open the doors and step through. Alright. You see here a throne on a massive dais, which looks like it's resembling a uh, floating cloud, concealing a golden sun. Seated on the throne is a 12 foot tall, regal, and well muscled humanoid male with a flowing white beard and purple toga. I'm Jelly. Hello! Who may you be? Um. You hear a voice come from it. Uh, as you approach it, saying, Ye who seek Diderus's insight must first furnish tribute that Diderus might work his mighty magic. Lay such tribute at my feet, or depart. What? What? What do you want? Ye who seek Diderus's insight must first furnish tribute that Diderus might might work his mighty magic. Lay such tribute at my feet or depart. So, uh, um, I'm I'm gonna put money on his ground. Uh, I'm gonna put my... You you well, do see. You do see a, a little pile of um, loot, for back of a better word. Um, of meat? What? Loot. Of loot. I'm gonna okay. put his feet. Okay. What kind of like things are we seeing? Uh, as you, if you like, look at it without touching it or anything. Uh, yeah, just you see see plenty of silver pieces, some fine silver necklaces. Uh, and there looks like uh, a vial of something. 
Um, but you also see hundreds of copper pieces and worthless bits of jewelry and pottery. I'm going to put uh, 700 silver bees. I've already taken them out of my inventory. Okay. Um, you now see 700 silver pieces pile in the pile. I'm going to take a couple dragon scales out. I still have some of those in the bag of holding. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to set them there with everything. Uh, I have a masterfully cut and polished precious stone that I would take out and put. Uh, it's a hundred GP. Uh, Zindralov is going to put 50, 50 silver. Wait, wait. We're all gonna look at Zindralov like cheap. <laughs> he he looks like. I think it's says, actually the. If, if I'm understanding this correctly, the wizard was not greedy. I mean, look at all these copper pieces. They may have just been some poor people who were looking for something, and gave what minor tribute that they have. A tribute is a tribute, I, I believe. I'm out of the amount. You, you don't you don't see any intent. yeah you don't see any any change or anything with just fifty silver pieces put on there. Just get All right, in. I'll take my stone back and put fifty silver pieces. Okay. Don't 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 take it back. Don't take it back. You put Nothing it there. Happens. You I mean, if you pick it back up, it's like wait a minute. No, I'm gonna use this. <laughs> okay, good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I um. He doesn't need that anymore because he got that. Um, the set of chainmail that he has had for a long time. He's gonna that he has a connection to, and he's gonna offer that. Up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Everything seems to be fine. Nothing, nothing. You you can't see any specific thing happen. It is quite possible that the fact that nothing is happening means that everything is accepted. Okay, then we will move forward to this door and go ahead and try to listen to see if there's anything. Coming from the other side. Uh, you do hear some voices. Like, are we able to discern what kind of voices, or just? Um, give me a perception check. Uh, what languages do you speak? Um, common, draconic, dwarvish, and elvish. Yeah, uh, there you hear. You hear voices speaking a language you do not understand. Do I not re at least recognize the language? Maybe not know what the words they're saying, but know what language it is. I'm going to say no. Okay. Maybe because you're not familiar with the language. Um. All right. <laughs> um. We. Kriv, like, tell people and be like, yo, there's voices on the other side here. Yeah, I don't I'll go ahead and them. say, yeah, I, I hear people, but I don't understand what they're saying. Uh, do you want to help me out? Um, sure. Gladly. Virus? Comprehend languages. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Um, you, you, if you Oh, wait, that doesn't yeah, that works on him only. Yeah, if you listen carefully, um, 
you can make out some. It sounds like uh, they're playing some sort of card game, and it seems. What languages do you know? All languages with comprehend languages. Yeah, it's. I mean, what do you? What is your normal stuff? Uh, common, draconic, and elvish. Although I do okay. think I was supposed to select one more, but okay. So you you that. understand the language, but you don't necessarily know what the language is. Okay. This is this is how I'm interpreting comprehend that, languages. That's okay. Yeah. I find this fine. Mm. Anybody else want to try to listen, or do you want to just go through? Uh, it. it as I said, Cyrus is hearing uh, uh, several people. They're playing a card game. I'm gonna try to listen. Okay, what languages do you speak? Uh, I speak Dwarvish, Gnomish, Draconic, Common, Elvish, Celestial. Wait, yep, you don't recognize the language. I don't. Okay. It's gonna be like infernal or abyssal or something weird like that. Yeah, probably. Well, let's give it a try. Uh, Cause Gizly knows abyssal. <laughs> he doesn't recognize the language. Damn. Dun, dun, dun. Probably like, it's be like giant. There's one way to find out. Let's just open the door. Oh, it's... It could be like Goblin. Yeah. We'll go in. And I'll go right here. Just so I can see around the corner. Alright, you see uh, some bearded devils playing... playing uh, cards. Yep. <laughs> it's Infernal. I'm back. He sees what? Hey, wait, just come back. Come back. Um, come, come back. He's just looking. What? Bearded devils. Oh. Yeah, they're just playing cards. Uh, there must be. They must be bored out of their mind to play cards. What do we do? What should we do? Um, Just play cards with them. them. Although I don't know how they would like that. I guess I'm more radical. I said, just take care of them. But yeah. Yeah. I don't mind playing with devils. As long as my soul is not in a deal. Yeah, just, just, just for fun. Anybody who wants to can roll a religion check. Yeah. A wisdom check. A religion a check. Might as well. I can. I can crit. Okay. Uh, Frederica and Kriv remember that devils uh, are the lawful type of uh, evil beings, save for Cyrus, that they may be playing cards, which is kind of like they're on duty. They have some specific, they must have some sort of specific instructions to, to like, guard something. You don't know why. But that's, they don't, you don't know if they're guarding this room or what, because, well, you, you haven't talked to them. We should be okay to talk to them then. Yeah, let's just regularly walk. Um, try to kind of make sure our presence is known so they're not spooked. And walk into the room. What up, my bitches? Yeah, no. Wouldn't it be, like, wild if there were, like, devils in here? Oh, hey, hi, guys! <laughs> oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Yep, yeah, we're just playing some, some cards here. Uh, so you got two long tables of plain stone stand at the south end of this this uh, dining hall. 
a long marble table stands to the north. The door up the stairs uh, leads to another area and has a question mark, danger, written in chalk. The door down the southern stairs is spiked shut and has danger scrawled on it in chalk. This one has danger question mark or danger exclamation mark? The door, actually, this door. <laughs> and what? Door. Uh, question, mark da da question mark danger. Okay. And the the if you uh, look up this way, this direction, it goes up some stairs, and there's a door. It's just spiked shut and says danger. What about this door? The uh, door to the north doesn't say anything. We are just passing through What's up with the doors. Um, oh, okay. We we're just trying to get through this door right here, up to the north here. Okay, we're just we're just here to kill anything that comes out that that door. And he points to to the uh, that door to the south, which is this direction. All right. Oh, yeah, well. you got to remember north is. This way, south is this way. <laughs> well, that's good because we're not gonna exit this door. We're, we can go through this door. Well, no, we're going. We're not gonna go through that door. We're gonna go through this door. Why? Okay. Well, this door says danger. <laughs> this door says nothing. This door does not. Yeah, exactly. Like danger, exactly. Danger. We're gonna go important not necessarily danger could also just mean danger <laughs> let's be honest i don't think they would only sing like simply put danger for like no reason and keep five bearded uh, devils nearby to guard that door yeah uh, who who are you employed by I, oh uh uh, we were we were we were summoned by a uh, dwarf verum guy. He said, "Make sure nothing comes out that door." And so here we are. Do you know what's behind that door? Nope. Apparently, danger. But technically, as as long as we don't come out of that door, we're fine, right? We might have well, to that's also assuming that there's door. another exit to that. As far as I'm aware, of, that's the only exit. So if you go in there, when you come out... So, guys, if I understand, this is a room to explore that doesn't have no exits. I mean, I haven't been in there, so I don't know. Maybe there is, but... Well, there's also a chance that there isn't, so then we would have to come back out that door, and then they will be obligated to fight us. So I say no that's what we're like, told. Anything that comes out of there, kill it. So right. the right. logical thing is not to even attempt that door right now. Yeah, right until we know what shenaniganry is up. Go okay. this way. Sure. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's do you, by chance, way. know what's this way? No, no, we were just. just I'll just, stay. Okay. I'll stay on my toes because I don't trust them. I guess. All right. Just gonna watch them. Well, so it'll tell you that what we know about be I know about bearded devils that they are lawful, they will follow code type thing. If they're saying they're here for this reason, they are here, they're for, this here reason. for this reason and that reason only. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So we're gonna go through here. Going to the hallway and you see it near the door. Go to the door. And I will go ahead and go to the door and listen to see if we hear anything. Nope. Nothing nothing to be heard in there. Okay. And then, like, okay. Yeah. You're gonna go ahead and go in. Alright. Uh, 
this long gallery holds a, a pool or well holds a basin which looks kind of like a pool it's kind of weird it's inky broken arrows blood stains and a dead cultist are strewn across the floor of the chamber I think we found the pool the I mean the the, the divining pool yeah, the divination pool. I would think we would see Yarum and Jaunties around here. Because they're trying to use it. Uh, they... Could I walk up to the pool? Like, cautiously, of course. And can I make an investigation check or an arcana check? Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll me an investigation. Oh, I is I rolled Arcana. Is that okay? Um, is it the same bonus or? Yeah, it's the same bonus. It's the same bonus. Okay, so we'll just take that as an investigation check. Uh, the the pool is currently empty. Okay. Um, but uh, from what you can tell, like around it, you reveal that there was arrows that were shot from the north of doorway. Uh, the arrows are carved of stone and their heads are in the shape of fangs set with the symbol of a cobra with a crown above it. Well, that's definitely the Yanti. Uh, I will also say that uh, if you check out the body, it looks like it's a uh, looks like it's a dragon cultist and has a dagger wound. And uh, this looks like uh, the dagger that did it must have been a dragon juice dagger. Ooh. Oh, uh, can I can I check for residue of uh, um, what kind of residue that it does? Acid. Oh. I don't know. Oh. Maybe it could have been poison. <laughs> All right. And, and and the answer to your whispered question is no. Oh. Well, um, do I know if the beard devils are dangerous? Like, are they hard to fight? What is your religion check? Uh, I had 14. 14. Uh, you're not, you're not quite sure, but they, 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 they they're manageable. They, they, they might be an issue. But, yeah. Hmm. Um, I don't know for you guys, but I'd rather take care of those now yep. rather than later. Um, See, the thing I... is, there was... if there was some in here by Varum, if Varum is taken care of, they would go away, wouldn't they, Cyrus? Yeah, they should. Although, uh, no. No, yeah. if you kill if you kill the summoner, they just become wild. I well, okay. I'm a more of that in game questioning this. Yeah, not that's a, not a meta. -game. meta. No, but I, it's not the first time that I that, that I've seen those things, like evil creatures getting summonings, and when we smite down the summoner, we still need to deal with the summoning. Especially with devils. I can also say I would know that it's very situational. Uh, Ginger Love uh, puts in some insight. Um, our mission was to find Verum, and he is pretty high up in the ranks of the Cult of the Dragon. Perhaps if we capture him instead of killing him, we might be able to question him. And he might be able to dismiss the devils. Like, they're tied to Verum. So, if we capture him, deal with Verum, he could get rid of them. Yeah. That, that it just seems a lot of fighting for something that can be dealt with with not having to fight them. I mean, if you don't have to fight something, it would probably be better than if we did have to fight something. 
And right yeah, exactly. now, they seem to be just... They're content doing their own thing. And playing some cards and guarding a door. Uh, I am content leaving them do that as well. So... But you don't bother, like, why they're guarding that door? I feel like as we explore, and once we ca capture Viram, we'll be able to find out why. I mean, I gotta... they, they... Somebody did write danger on the door, so I would assume that they probably already explored it, and it's probably not the safe place. They put safe on the door, the door to the well. Be right back. Be right back, or you can follow me. I'm going to go see the um, the maid, the, the the ghost. Probably she knows uh, the layout of the place. Also, she wasn't aware of anything that we need to be aware of. I asked if there's things that we need to be aware of in this place, and she said no. Not to her knowledge. So, just because she might know the layout doesn't mean that she travels it often. She could just stay at the library. Plus, um, the librarian. spirits and stuff like that typically will latch onto one location that they can't really leave. But what if, what if like, Varen is there, just hiding, or this is the, the stair to go down? Like, Maybe she knows this is like, oh, this is the stairway to go to go to the other level. There's also just two doorways that we can just go through. Well, can I'm just going to go ask. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you run back to Elbet, and oh, there the goes. Uh, that room. Oh, yeah. That. That was a place where Diderus put some of his uh, more precious items. Not the books. Mm. So, probably not there for your books. Alright, thank you. I'm just gonna come back. Be like, apparently, it's where Diderus put his uh, treasures. Hey, so it's an area... So it's closed off. There's no way uh, out. Uh, uh, just... uh, hold on. Like, let me roll that back. That was uh, Diderus's, uh, uh bed chambers. Okay. So... It, it's one of those things where they label the room as one thing, but then the description refer to it as something else. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So it's a bedroom that probably means like. Can we say she told us that th that door is the only door in there? Into there and out of there? Yeah. Okay, so... so, so yeah, there, as far as I'm aware of, he didn't have any other exits to that room. Okay. So, then, logic was state, we go in there, there's no other door out. We go out of there, we have to fight the bearded devils. In the meantime... But, but they're just bearded devils. But it's a fight we don't have to do. Yeah. You're, it's like, unnecessary you, danger. You, says the you one don't who gain decided... XP for killing these bearded devils. I know, but says the one who decided to fight the 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 mummies. mummies. Easier targets than bearded devils. Uh, I don't oh, think yeah, so. about the same, same hit points. <laughs> and... and I do think the mummies are worse because if you fail, like meta gaming wise, if you fail your save, you're paralyzed for a minute. That's <sighs> that can destroy a party. But this is also okay. Well, that was an easy save. <laughs> the bearded devils are not giving us problems. We are not chaotic evil. We don't want to fight them. That's kind of just the end of it. I mean, technically, you didn't have to fight the mummy either. But I'm yeah, sorry. But I'm we sorry. now have a captured mummy. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but as the pyre of fate, those are still evil creatures, which can also. Okay, but as the pyre they're of fate, we devil. don't have to always. Oh, we don't have to. Yes, they're devils, but we do not have to take violence to them there there could be another way to deal with them that does not necessarily deal with violence yes the mummies were you went and attacked the mummies even though they weren't doing anything to us these devils are doing the same thing they are obviously showing no aggression to us 
They said, hey, we literally could ask for their names. I mean, maybe not because devils have a thing with their names, but hey. Or is that so, demons? I can never remember. Demons. If, say, we did get Varum and he takes care of them, he banish like he gets rid of them. That is a way for us to take care of them still. That doesn't necessarily have okay. to deal with full frontal confrontation. Mummies you know, are already uh, here. Here, devils or something you can get rid of besides uh, destroying them. So, okay, we're just thinking the 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 easier way without having to to uh, reduce hit points. <laughs> the po the possible being hit with an attack. I honestly think it would be quite fast. Or we could just go through this door, and Cyrus will go through this door. Uh, this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, Cy Cyrus goes to open that door. Uh, I need to scroll back up to another page, because that's where it has the, the thing. Uh, I would like... Is this it? Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you Wait. Do, uh, before you do go go to that door, let me notice. You notice that these doors are bulging. Very similar to the mosaic group. Oh, we're going to not go... Are b both of the doors? It, just the one you're currently at. Okay, we'll go through the other one. Impulsively. Okay. <laughs> Alright. You impulsively go through, the, through that door. Um, very careful. I impulsively go through the door very carefully. <laughs> Uh, all right. You go through the door. Um, inside, you find uh, some braziers, um, which are lit with flame. Uh, they don't. Does it say if it's green flame or red flame? I'm gonna assume it's red flame. Uh, there's a massive stone sarcophagus sits atop a stepped stone dais at the center. The walls are decorated with life-size frescoes showing the lost gods of Nethril and Anaria. Um, you sense that it would be disrespectful to disturb anything here. Everything should remain as it is. So, then we are not going to touch it. But what if I want to study the mummy lore We're inside of it? Be not touching. <laughs> no touchy touchy. Cyrus will not touchy touchy. Thank you. I mean, you can you can examine things. It's just you know, no them touchy. as they are. That's that's a sense you, you you get. As long as we don't break anything or yeah, do you want to look around? The sarcophagus. I think we're fine. So do you just kind of like look around, look at, yeah. look at investigate? Yes, investigate. Okay. Let me investigate. Boop 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 bitty boop. Twenty eight. Woo! All right, you discover that the plaster in four of them, the four of the frescoes, uh, it has a it's very thin plaster on four of them. Um. As you approach the sarcophagus, you hear in a deep, clear voice, you approach Didymus in repose. I know what you seek. Yuanti have taken the one called Verum beyond their portal in the northern wall. Be prepared, for I shall open the way to peril. Oh, thanks. And you get this uh, sense of magic as uh, part of the wall starts to rumble. And then it starts sliding open. Uh, oh, oh, Lord. You don't say anything? Just let it happen? Sure. Well, we, we only see the door opening. 
Yeah, you heard a voice. He said he was going to open the doorway. And, to, uh, peril. He, to peril. And We're going to uh, prepare okay. for peril. All right. I mean, as it's opening, you can position yourself. Selves. There's going to be a fight. I don't know how to dynamically unlike this. Can I can I just reveal area? Reveal areas, can I do that? Is that it? No, that doesn't work. Frederica, are you gonna be up at front or are you gonna let your tank get in front? Well, I don't know. He he's placing himself. But you're right in front of the doorway. I was just trying to roll initiative quick. Oh, you want to move? You move. It's eager. So, so everybody position yourselves. Ah. I crit, I crit failed and Shutan crit. Right here. Yeah, apparently he doesn't mind you being being on top of his sarcophagus. As long as you're not, like, moving. So you guys can enter, and then we'll we'll get initiative going as soon as you run into. Oh, okay. okay. Shatan is eager. Ah. Okay. And then Shatan can can take his turn. Uh, I guess his uh, brat like. Yeah, he's had plenty of time for it to recharge. So no. All right. Gonna okay, surround himself by three little lizard folk. No, I was checking if uh, he's gonna go there. Well, there actually, and try to breathe on all three of them. I say you got three of them, yeah. Um. Uh, DC fifteen deck save. I need to. Like change it to a character sheet. That's annoying. Uh, right. so hit that one up to or, yeah. Go ahead and roll damage. For eighteen. I said damage. Uh nine. All right, where's your folk? Ah! A couple of them, do you? Uh, this one goes. This way. And uh, 
This one goes here, this one goes here. This one's gonna come over here, this one's gonna come over here, and this one's gonna come over here too. And they're, they're basically attacking the first one they see, which is uh, Kirk. Uh, as this one approaches Sister Frederica is going to attack him. Okay, go ahead. It's gonna be uh it eighteen plus one nineteen damage. Just, just one more than what you taught it. <laughs> yes, just to prove him that it's okay. I got it. And in retaliation, he's gonna attack you. Uh, Do javelin and shoot. Oh. All to crew. Uh, first one to, to uh, Frederica because she just attacked him. Uh, yeah, opportunity attacks. Uh, does the seventeen hit you? Seventeen? Yeah. Uh, nope. Okay. Welcome to the eighteen world. Yay. <laughs> Another plus side to becoming a fighter. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, two sets towards Kriv. Um, yeah, let's do this. Uh, this one's going to attempt to bite you. Nope. And uh, Javelin, no. You're what, 24 right now? 23. Okay. Wait, no, 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 because technically my shield doesn't act it, so I'm 21. So that does it. So it takes six piercing damage from it. Okay, uh, vengeful assault. Okay. You hit me, you're gonna get attacked back. Snap back. 15. Yeah, he's swinging around and lop his head off. He was also had uh, been hit by acid. <laughs> oh yeah. In retaliation, uh, another one comes and attempts to uh, bite you and uh, stab you. Nope, nope. Neither of them hit. Crave. Uh, the one next to you and Frederica is really hurt, and uh, the other one is not. Alright, so gonna go ahead and activate my shield. And attack this one. Seventeen. And you're attacking this one, but right? Yeah, this one first. Okay. Just get kinda get rid of them. Yep. Yeah, and then the second attack on this one. Okay. That'll hit. 18 seems to be all your magic numbers. Uh, Cyrus, it seems to be a really quick encounter. <laughs> did you do? Did you do the two attacks on uh, Shutant? Huh? Did you attack Shutan? He's oh, over here. So one, two, three, four. Not so a hit. hit two. None of them hit? Nope. Okay. He's Whatever. getting agile on his feet. I just realized that's actually Gizli, not Federica. But. So it's like, did it have reach or something? It's like, yeah, Federica was over here. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was just... I don't know what I was thinking. I don't Did mind. Did you take any damage? Nope. Okay. I will Scorching Ray this one. Okay. Or maybe... If if this one well, dies... start there. <laughs> do, do the first Scorching Ray. 
I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say, Lee Chan is kills. He needs the training, and those are perfectly yeah, weak. That kills it. All right. And then this one, next. Taking kills away from us, so. But he needs the training. And then the next one. And we didn't really. In the don't set, through, in don't through weaklings. So sixteen damage on that one. All right. And you needed all those attacks in order to kill that one, so we got one left over. I only have three. Yeah, no, I'm saying we have we have one lizard folk left over besides one. Oh, over. sorry, I'm dumb. <laughs> all right, Zindralov looks at it, snaps his fingers, uh, and let's make a deck save. If it fails, it's probably gonna. Die. Back here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Plus strikes. Uh, yeah, it's dead. Uh, and then your radiant abruption of radiant flame uh, kills that one. It's okay, uh, baby. Sister, time. you you had. You you had noticed that there was a there was at least one more lizard folk that went off in the other down the hall. Down some stairs. Um I'm going to action surge alright, to action dash. Okay. Is that it? And uh, yeah. action surge to attack it. Alright, hold on. You're not gonna let Shatan get that one? Well, he doesn't reach it. He, he could? He doesn't fly fast enough. If you give him opportunity, you, oh. you were. <laughs> and don't worry. Giving him, giving him the chance. Don't worry. G give me a dexterity saving throw. No. Oh. Oh, dexterity? Mm, that's gonna be nice. I will indomitable. Hmm? Uh, indomitable. Just reroll it. It's gonna be a nine instead. Alright. Uh, you slip on the mossy bridge. Uh, you can make a uh, acrobatics check. Not athletic, hey, acrobatic. Acrobatic. Oh. This is about like trying to reach and, and catch the bridge. Alright. You, you, you've you actually, uh, you come in here and you kind of slip and you, you fall but you grab onto the, the edge. I guess I'm going to like rise myself up. Uh, you can't because you just used your action. No, but I still to, have to move that far. But I still have movement. No. Because well, he moved, and then dashed, and then action surged. Yeah, but I, 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 I'm supposed to like fit there, so technically I still have five feet. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna say you're currently hanging from the bridge. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Um. You see a bunch of uh, snake-like things at the bottom of the uh, pit there. Okay. Gizzly. Sorry. Go ahead. Right here. So these are what are these things? For the lizard folk? Mm-hmm.
know what? We're going to try to something new here. Old person. Cool. What's the save? Uh, wisdom saving throw. Fails. He's going. <laughs> and he freezes in place. Uh, anything else? Uh, that was my action. Not much to do for bonuses, so. Okay. So. Oh. Done. Get him. Shutant will fly there because he has 60 feet and this is exactly 60 feet. Yeah, and he can fly, which means he doesn't <laughs> slip on a bridge. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to roll the d6 in case of... No. And uh, he's going to attack. And probably misses. Yeah, you kind of like... Ah, uh, I just, just want to check. in the back, but not anything to do damage. Anything else? Uh, nope. That's it. Uh, that's it for Shutant, unfortunately. He's still gonna attack. Take another Paralyzed. Attack. Oh, that's right. He can't move. <laughs> it was like, um, wait a minute. Oh, wait. wait a minute. Is, it, is there a uh, hold person? Is it, is it save yeah. at the end of his turn? No, but I, I had advantage with Shutant, though. Does a 19 hit? What do you have advantage with your thumb? Old person paralyzed? paralyzed. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um. Yeah, he can. Uh... No, he, he's probably gonna die though. At the end of its turn, the target can make another wisdom save throw. Okay. Plus three. Okay. What? All right. So he's taken uh, 17, 19, 19 damage from Shatan. Why 19 damage? Uh, when you're paralyzed and getting hit by fi by a creature in melee range, uh, you it's an automatic crit. Oh, that's right. So I I rolled. There's an additional two to that. Yeah, which is is it it sucks, sucks, but yeah. <laughs> it's more than anything. All right. So then goes to his turn, and then he can make a wisdom save, right? Yep. Uh, he breaks free. But it's... that's the end of his turn, so... Yep. Griff. Um, I won't be able to do much. I won't. I want to be able to get up to him or do anything. So I'm just gonna hold right there. All right, Cyrus. All right, Cyrus will one, two, three, four, five, six. Boop, come down here, and we'll just. Has it taken damage yet? Yes. Okay. Uh, we will just find Ray of Frost! Bop! Wow. Yay! That hits. Six cold! Yay. Woo! And he and drops that. Decreased. Oh, his speed, his heart speed decreased so much he died. Yeah, he just... And he falls into the pit. It's okay, baby. You'll get the next one. And for now, we're well, we're kind of rendition. Uh, 
And uh, you can easily like reverse the uh, right. you up. <laughs> yeah. But you do see like the 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 bridge is very mossy, so it is very slippery. But uh, the dragons can can fly over. Uh, everybody else can just like carefully walk. <laughs> so they don't be careful not to slip. Good job, Shatant. Come here. No, no, here. You're doing so much better than other dragons. Now you're trying to throw shade and all, but it's not working. I am not. If I wanted to throw shade, I would have said, like, you're doing so much better than Lemon. But I didn't. You can still throw shade and be indirect. <laughs> I'm responsible of what I say, of not what you understand. Besides, I didn't take my shade fan out. This way. Alright. This is a. Walls of this long hallway seem to undulate, moving back and forth. That's not so unique. I was following the suit over here. Is it normal that, like, when I move my character, like, I can see it with a, a shape circle? It's because you're moving two people. Like, it, it's like, because mine's kind of doing the same when I was moving Kriv and Gisley. I think it's just the fact that it's. Because you're, you're trying, you're getting the, like an overlap of the two. Oh, two okay. different viewpoints. Okay. So it doesn't know how to compensate with that, so it kind of just. To a, you just circle. All right. Then yeah. Anyway. So. Um, do we see that? We only see what's in the hallway. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? See what? Single oh. fact that as we are, when we click, we see more oh, okay. than what is in the hallway. I'm like, so I was like, well, no. yeah, but there's, there's is... a reason why you wouldn't see that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we only see the whole hallway, right? Yeah. It, it, yeah. Well, you saw what you saw down the hallway was it, it looks like it, it there was like some sort of pit. Oh. Assuming Cyrus is here. Yes. Can I think those are illusions? What are illusions? Like that there's a pit? Yeah. Sure. You can take that. I'm going to investigate it anyway, so you know. Yep. There's a door here. You see it. You see that there's a door here and a turn. So you're gonna listen to the door you said. Well, no, I'm I'm trying to okay. So I'm gonna just sneak up to the corner and try to see around the corner. Okay. Technically, since I can't, it snaps me to this. Yeah, me... go ahead and, and give me a because uh, you're trying to be sneaky. I'm gonna say a, give me a stealth check. Oh, 
You peek around the corner, but you, you must stumble or something, uh, but just briefly peek, peek out, but uh, you see some lizard folk get alerted uh, with some sneak people behind them. So they'll turn around like, okay, I saw these, some snake people and some lizard folk. Pretty sure they, uh, by accident they saw me. Um, kind of stumbled a little bit. So, um... Why is the wizard up front? We are gonna fight! Did wizard sits in the back! <laughs> Y'all ready for a fight? Always. Yeah! All right, and then, so... Ahead. We're gonna go, boom. And then be like... You know, ah! Be like, hey, like they got out. me! Ah! <laughs> yeah. Rose, like, kind of go in here, and then the battle starts. That's not great, but it's not better than Gizzy. Cyrus. Oh, uh, but do we want to do this fight? They're charging towards you. Yeah, it, it. They saw like as I was trying to look, they saw me. So it's kind of like uh, we have to do this. I was talking about the time. Or is it? Uh, is it uh, yeah. I, I, hopefully, we'll be able to get this done within. Okay. Yeah. Midnight's a good time. Like if for me, it's gonna be like one or one, like at least one o'clock before I go to bed. So okay. my art, my time. So I, in your time. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Like. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Crowder uh, Holland. I'm going to attack this one. Uh, I'm going to say you can't because Curbs is in the way. Can so I do it? It's tight Holland. Can I do it with disadvantage? Sure. I mean, I just don't want to try it. Yeah, I, I feel that's more of something that would be if is if it there's like a clear area, but when somebody's in, fr in front of you, it gets a little more difficult if like impossible. Uh, so, yes, anyways. That nice 29, though. Alright. Uh, and. Uh, so, for Kriv. Uh, this time they're going to be using a heavy club and a spike shield, uh, and this is being whispered, which it's not supposed to, but, uh, 22? Yep. Alright, uh, take 11 damage, uh, 5 bludgeoning, uh, 6 piercing. And then for Gizli, we're going to do this. Uh, 18 hits. Meets it, beats it. Alright. So. At least there are three turns that passed, I guess. Sure. Alright, the uh, Zim is going to. Uh, so you can play this one. Jeez, they're rolling. Shit. <laughs> For being lizard people, they ain't that dexterous. The strikes. Not that great. Oh, His blessed okay. strike is better. Uh, Cyrus. Okie dokie. We are boop 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 is my thing, my dude. I know. I was doing there the bibbidi boop 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 all, all bunched up. Very, very nice. I enjoy them being 
all bunched up. Bunched up. Give it. Oh my god. 20 foot. So let us measure. Okay. Is it 20 foot radius or. Uh... 20 foot radius. Okay, so it's 40 feet long. Yeah. I'll just do it. I think it's here. One, two, three. Four. Yeah. Right here. So you, you uh, basically get all the lizard folk in the, the UMT. Yep. Uh, gravity sinkhole. I need constitution saving throws from all of them. All right. One, two, three, four. Uh, and... Can I two. get rid of this oh, thing? What is What's this? the DC? 17. One. So one of them makes it. Oh, the D4 was nothing. I have a little pop-up thingy on top of my chat that says rolling 1d4 plus 3 initiative equals 7 plus 3. And it's stuck. Oh. So I'm going to reload the page. I'll okay. we'll be right back. All right, and, I am back. And one of the UMT uh, save too. So it was okay. one lizard folk and one human teeth. Perfect. Let me just zoom out. Well, one the, the UNTs didn't. They got whispered. Yeah, I had to toggle them to be public. But I did now. I cast a gravity sinkhole. Okay. So what does it do again? It's been a while. Um, damage, half damage to fail. Get Half squashed. damage off of success. This one gets squashed. This one does not get squashed. But gets heavily damaged. So it's like 12. And this one gets squashed. Uh, this one gets half damage. 12. And this one. 25. Any that survived, actually everything that failed gets pulled in a straight line towards the center. So there's basically just a big old ball of corpses. And, and well, technically this one would still stay there because it succeeded. Yeah, um, once the succeed, do not get put, pulled. All right. Anything else? Um, this one they be, they go as close to the center as possible, which is here. Oh, okay. So, so these two would be moved up over here. I know it's not really relevant, but there's a ball of corpses. It's fun. Yeah. It's the singularity of corpses. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I present to you all. A meatball! <laughs> Except for one that's still alive. A see, meatball! <laughs> you, you, you see the lizard folk going, ah, This one gets, gets hit by, by him, but is able to, to resist it. One of them goes, when the UFC goes flying up, it gets hit, just slammed by these bodies of, of li lizard folk. Yeah, and another one, but the other one resists it being pulled. All right, Griff. I'm gonna activate my shield, and we're gonna attack this one. All right. Oh. Hey, that's gonna be a hit. That's gonna be a. Uh... Dead. Dead. Lizard folk. Then we're gonna move up here and attack this one. Uh, yeah. 
Is still alive? Uh, yeah. But it's, but it's looking hurt. Um, we're gonna throw... A level 2 Divine Smite. The reason is because. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it's looking hurt. Can't tell. It's, it's, it's good we'll enough. It. It's good enough reason that. It's not. Is it dead yet? No. Okay. Let's fight. Let's fight. Exactly like I'm there. Uh, <laughs> right. Level two, because don't know if level one will do it. Yeah. I'm gonna go there mm -hmm. and attack this one. And Oh, but I don't have this advantage. Though. Yeah, I have a... Does a 14 hit? Yes. Is he dead? Uh, yes. Good. You have Dexter attack? Huh? You have Dexter attack, right? Yes, of course. Okay. I have not done over there. I can move there and attack once. Still alive? Yep. Twice. Oh. oh. The other one. You swing it around and it dodges out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Happens. And uh, that's it for my turn. Because I've already used my action, my strat uh, extraction. Which, by the way, I would like a short rest. 1823 hit you. Uh, hit me. 18 and 23 does hit me. Alright. Take 16. As uh, he does a slashy slash to you. Oh, and okay. foolishly... Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, I don't think so. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, but he's gonna stay he's, there. Uh, he's sitting there. also... <laughs> no. Well, no, technically he can move five feet because it's when he leaves my range. Sadly. But still. Easily. Right. Here. Ixen. There you go. Look bodies. Uh, they don't really have any. That is appalling. Uh, lizard folks have spike shields, javelins, and a heavy club. So that was four javelins. Uh, you until you have scimitars and light bows. Or long bows. Shields. And four, uh, two... And um, what else? They have, scimit have, have scimitars and longbows. One each. Okay. All right. Do we want to rest? Probably just do a short rest. Yeah. Yeah. Do we stay right have... here in the hallway, or where yeah. are you going? No. No. Um, gonna check out this door to see if I hear anything. Uh, you don't hear anything from that door. Or which which door are you? Oh, excuse me. This one right here. The one I'm in front of. Oh, that one? Uh, I don't see you for some reason. The, the one... Oh, uh... you're, you're under Cyrus. <laughs> now, why are you under Cyrus? You moved up me because you're probably flying oh, okay no. so uh you don't hear anything have to go you open the door yeah 
Uh, this foul smelling cha chamber is piled high with trash and filth. This is not a good place for us to do this. Garbage room. <laughs> Stinks in here. Bad place. We could go back to the place where there was the small well. Or we can go in the library and keep company to uh, Hil Hilda? Hilda? Hilda. Hilda. Well, or the, Hilda. Big the big chamber where the, um, the empty basin was. Sure. Uh, that, that's closer, so let's just go there. We 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 don't see those passage, right? Well, we would the, see these the... two, these two passages. Yeah, yeah, you see those. Okay, there's no door there. Okay, yeah, the we would is... see them. We would see them as we pass through. Well, like the door is not there. Well, we that, there that... is a door there. Okay, and you and and you were able to see because of your. Your dark vision. You were able to see that these lead to a pit. Okay, this is a pit. Okay, right. Well, we could just like do a short rest next to the pit. Like we're gonna see if people comes. You want to do it next to the pit? I'm you haven't explored the pit, so. No, I say. I say we. Pit. I say we just go back to the room right before we get to um, Diodis's, uh tomb. Go back to the divination pool. Well, the that was the divination pool. That's you right. noticed that? Like up here. Mm -hmm. Take a short rest there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so as you're taking a short rest, we'll end it there. Just because we only have a few minutes left of the regular session. Makes sense. And there, there's a bit more to it, so I, I don't want to... Hold a D20. Hit. Yeah, I'm going to... In worst case scenario, you pop up the, the layer and pop in there and take your short rest. All right, I'm full life. Thank you. I'm going to do some layout hands. Uh, actually, you know what? Before you spend, spend it, because Zinder Love really hasn't actually cast actual spells. Which is fine. We want those saved for when we need them. No, but Zinder Love could just simply do his channel divinity, which he's going to regain. No, oh, wait, no, wait. What I can do, I got something I can do that won't take up a spell slot. Zinder Love can we got ten. We got ten minutes. I can ritual cast prayer of healing. Uh, I'm going to use my is, prayer of healing is not a ritual spell. Yeah, and you're it a, is a ten minute long spell. Yeah, and yeah. you have a paladin in your paladin, so you don't have access to ritual. Sadly, but like I said, Zinderlove but, but has prayer a... of healing is still still not it. You think? But yeah. Zinderlove has not used any spell slots. At all. Yeah, but so he has he his channel. For, he he has his channel. Channel divinity will not work for what you're talking about. Isn't he life? He is life, but you, you're the channel divinity doesn't work that way. Oh, uh, right. as an action, you record store store no, you're right. hit points. Choose any creatures within three feet of you and divide those hit points among them. The feature can restore a creature to no more than half its hit point maximum. No, you're right. I, I I had forgotten about that one. So Zinderloff has not used any spells. He's only yeah. used cantrips. So he can spend. He can afford to spend ten minutes casting a prayer of healing. It's up to you. Um, honestly, I, I'm not that injured. Zinderloff would like to do that. So. Sure, no problem. We'll, we'll we'll make sure that 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 gets in there. So. And so we heal for 15. Mm -hmm. 
I Yay! Don't have. Did, did that include my? Wow. I said, yeah, that should include the uh, discipline light in the book. So. So, if anything, you get fifteen automatically, and then. Then whatever you need for a hit dice. If you don't need a full hit dice or, or one of your hit dice to top yourself off, then don't worry. Uh, consider it that you didn't roll that. I was missing like 15. I was just lay on hand for two instead of using a hit dice. On, um, this help. Because that 15 got, um, get sleep back up. Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. it's, it's prayer of, the base prayer, prayer of healing is just a second level spell, and he's he's, he's got a, got three spell slots for that. So, and he he still has higher level spell slots, plenty of higher level spell slots. So, it's not that big of a deal for him, and say, especially considering he hasn't used any. So, but we're still gonna leave it there. Uh, I'll leave you on a short rest. Uh, just so we can end on time. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you all for playing. Yeah. I spent 20 seconds here so that when I put in the end screen on YouTube, it's doing it on the end screen screen. Um, wind. Mm hmm. Can I talk to you about something? Yeah, sure. I'm going to quickly end the stream now.